Hey, Summit County, thanks for joining us here on TV8 Summit. I'm Andy, and I've got Haley here from the town of Breckenridge. And it is an absolutely gorgeous day here in Breckenridge. It's finally starting to feel like spring. We've had just a tremendous amount of snow recently, yeah. but the sun is out. Yeah, you can see how much <laughs> snow we've had from all the piles. But, you know, the sun's finally out. We don't have to wear our jackets right now. It feels really nice. You know, and with that comes along with a lot of visitors. You know, it's spring break time of the month. Or really, yeah. each week in March basically is a spring break for somebody. Yeah, March and really going into April, since we've got mm -hmm. kind of a late Easter this year, is going to be spring break. And so really it's all about, you know, managing crowds. That's what the town of Breckenridge really works on and is focused on. And so there are a few things you can do to make sure that uh, you have a really smooth trip here in town. The first is don't drive. If you get here, leave your car. We've got an awesome bus system it can get you wherever you need to go and you don't have to worry about being on the roads it's definitely good to utilize that especially if you want to avoid parking it does get kind of crazy like you mentioned just skip all that hassle and then let the buses take you to and from wherever safely yeah we had 1.2 million riders last year so you oh, wow. can be one of them we can get you where you need to go uh, as well something that we're really focused on is recycling so um, people may not know when they're visiting what they can and can't recycle uh, but we want to make sure people are recycling so just a few tips don't put your coffee cups in the recycling we unfortunately can't recycle those and we have these awesome signs now on our recycling receptacles that let you know what you can and can't put in there. And here we are just along the Blue River and just along the path even. I mean, there's multiple options for mm -hmm. trash containment and recycling options. Yeah, there's multiple options. And then finally, I would just say, you know, we do share our space with animals. And mm -hmm. with all this snow, it actually has pushed a lot of animals down into town. So if you see a moose, don't try to get a selfie. Please just keep your cool, keep far away. Uh, don't get close to it because they can be dangerous animals. We want to make sure we give them their space as well. We do have a few bears that are waking back up. And so um, from Colorado, to Parks and Wildlife, we just want to make sure that we are really locking down that trash, um, that people can't get to it, and that, you know, we're keeping our safe spaces. We want to make sure that our animals stay alive and thrive. Absolutely, you know, and like you mentioned, we're getting into spring now, and it's hard to believe it with all the amount of snow we already have, but the animals are waking up, and they're going to be a lot more prevalent in this next upcoming month. Yes, they are going to be around, so make sure you pay attention. Um, there are really some things we can do to make sure that um, it goes smoothly, but really just keeping your distance is key. Absolutely. All right. Well, definitely get out there and take care of our paths and trails here in Breckenridge and enjoy this beautiful spring. Yeah. We can probably cut out that last part, right? Yeah, Sorry. Like, I, I heard you like a breath. I'm like, do we have to keep going?